I like to think she'd be voting not the Tories. I like to think she'd be voting for Labour, but obviously, like, I don't really know her, but she seems like really generous and like she really cares about all her workers and all her fans. So I like to think she'd be voting for someone, like a party who also cares about everyone. I don't know, it's a really hard one because obviously. I don't really know who she'd vote for. She, she wouldn't vote for the Conservatives, full stop. That's not going to happen. That wouldn't happen. Um, I'd like to think she'd lean more towards like Green, but I think if she had a tactical vote, it would obviously be Labour. It, yeah, it's a complicated one. I think it would definitely be more left-wing, because she's very supportive of like the everyone being happy and lovely, and I don't think she'd be very happy with the way the Conservatives have dealt with a lot of the issues in this country over the last five years, or forever. Um, so yeah, I think she would probably be Labour-y green. Or I'd hope that she would, otherwise it wouldn't really make sense. I'd like to say Labour, but I don't know. Yeah, I think you might Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Well, she doesn't really give off any political views. Like, I don't think, I've never heard her, she like likes to keep that separate from her music. So, she likes people being happy, so I'm assuming she'd choose Labour. That's a very good question. Uh, I think she would probably vote for Clyde, because I think she would be a very much uh, a patriotic person and want to uh, want the voice of Wales to be uh, in charge. I think she would probably vote Labour, because she's left wing, I think. I don't think she would vote, like, Sort of green. I think she'd yeah, I think she'd be a Labour supporter. And just because they're the left wing ones, it's like the main left wing party, I feel like that's what she'd go for. I don't think it should be mandatory. Like, I don't really like the idea of anything being I mean, I don't like the idea of having to vote being managed by law because a lot of people are just gonna, they're not really educated. And I think it's, if you don't know where to find information, it can be quite hard to search for it. But I definitely think that you should like, like everyone should be encouraged to vote. I don't think it should be something that's enforced. I think it's hard. I think you'd have, they'd have to regulate in a certain way. I think everyone should vote. But I know some of them, they, they won't, well, they won't get up, like, especially with our generation, it's like, I just want people to get up and go and vote. So maybe I'm kind of half and half, yes, because I want people to do it, but then I know some people have problems, they, they find it difficult to do. Like, my sister really struggles, she just goes with my mum, and my mum helps her kind of thing, but... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I, I, I think... I actually, I'm working at a polling station in, on the 4th, so I have learned a lot about the kind of percentages of people that vote and it's way too low and I think especially this year people need to keep going with it so yeah I do think it's mandatory. No because I study politics for my degree and by having the right to vote you also have the right not to vote as well. I think people should vote but I don't think it should be mandatory because then it forces like it's like a whole different oh, like yeah. matter. Yeah. Uh, no I think everyone should have their own choice to vote if they think, think they should. Obviously if it was mandatory, you might have to vote for somebody that you don't believe in. If somebody doesn't believe in anyone that's available, then you should have the right not to vote. I think everyone should vote, but I think to make it mandatory, people who don't know much about politics are just going to go and put a random party down if they, if they don't know. So I think that wouldn't be very good. I think that the idea of volunteering in a position that can help a lot of people is a really nice thing but I also don't think it should have to be mandatory for everyone because obviously if you have to volunteer on the weekends a lot of people who are 18 are still in school and so they'll be going to school on the weekdays and if they have to volunteer at a non-paid place at the weekends they won't be able to get a paid job and a lot of people have to get paid jobs to help them pay for uni or education. So I just think that it should be something you do if you want to do it because also it kind of takes a meaning out if you don't want to do it you're gonna just not put your whole heart into it and you just kind of need to it come, needs to come from a good place needs to come from the heart. I don't agree with it I think there needs to be exemptions in place so I hate that like if they're if they're a carer then they still have to do it no matter what like if, if someone's dependent on them they shouldn't be forced to do it. 
um, if they're already volunteering or if they're going to uni, I don't think they should be forced. But I don't agree with it. Like, I've got a brother in the army, but he's a lot older. And he's been in it since he was 18, and it works for some people, but not for everyone. I just think the conservatives are trying to control us in a, in a pretty bad way. I think it's strange because I don't think we ever had a problem with it before. So I think it's a bit unnecessary to bring it in, and like it would. I think it would make it worse because people aren't interested in it and they don't, the people that don't want to do it still won't want to do it, especially if you make them do it. So yeah, I think it was just a silly idea. So yeah. I, I don't particularly agree with it because I think, again, it's conscription, you're forcing people to do service when I don't think, uh, I'm not a fan of it. I think it's really outdated, yeah. Because if like there's loads of people who like willingly choose to go into service anyway, so I don't think forcing kids and saying that they should take a year out of like out of uni to go and like do stuff, I think it's stupid. Yeah, I don't think that really works with our current society. I think it's very uh, it's a bit of an ancient thought, really. I don't think that's something that should be brought in at all. I, I don't like it. I don't agree with that. Um, I don't think it's going to get pushed through. I don't think it's actually going to happen. Um, I think most people my age don't really agree with the wars that we do have and the wars that our governments get into, so I don't think anyone's going to be particularly excited to be a part of that.